This is a demonstration of sealing expanded poly uh, polypropylene foam. This is the hot, hot wire cut scrap that came with a uh, wing core set. We'll be using lightweight spackle, which is available at uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, um, the kind that you get at Home Depot, nonetheless. It is lightweight lightweight spackling and when you compare this to a regular spackling can side by side this one will feel like it's empty literally this is a bondo spreader you can get this next to your tack cloth and bondo and fiberglass and whatnot they come in a pack of three and uh, they'll last a long time you can also use a credit card or, or whatnot the foam Make sure you get full coverage. So everything's been covered. There might be some air pockets and bubbles down in there. So now what I'm going to do is kind of work it, really press it down in there and start getting rid of the excess. Scrape it down in there. Scrape it down in there. And maybe grab a little bit more, kind of work it back and forth. And just work it back and forth. You'll notice that you're filling in the voids. This, the hot wire cut EPP has voids all over it. Um, I did another video regarding um, ripstop nylon directly onto hot wire cut EPP. And one of the things I noticed was that there was a lot of voids in the glue got down into it. There's quite a few advantages to sealing your EPP prior to putting anything on it. Um, first of all it's going to be smooth, a lot smoother, which will give you overall a lower coefficient of drag which means either more efficient use of your motor or perhaps um, even better yet higher speed. Uh, it'll give you a more professional or aesthetic looking finish. Uh, you'll get a better bond with your laminate, be it fiberglass or tape or monocoat. I just said the glue, or if you're going to do fiberglass, in that case would be resin. Your resin won't seep in, which ultimately will give you a much lighter build. Uh, being that it doesn't seep in, it's all going to stay on the surface and um, you'll get a better bond. And furthermore, EPP by itself, even if it didn't, even if it were perfectly smooth, uh, just doesn't bond to things very well. Ultimately, adding this lightweight step will make your build lighter. So, that's just on there nice and smooth. I may end up coming back and doing another coat later. I'm going to let this set up, cure for probably about an hour or so, and we'll be back. Well, I've allowed the lightweight spackle to cure for about an hour and 15 minutes. I had to put on a fresh piece of uh, 220 grit on the uh, one third sheet sander, and uh, basically just sand it down. Uh, get rid of any high spots. Um, you don't want to really go into the foam. You just take off the high spots that you are, that you uh, may have left uh, put on as a result of applying the spackle. <laughs> like that. There's really nothing much more to it. If you're doing a wing or a, or a fuselage or whatnot, uh, you may have some um, some spots that are laid on pretty thick. To you know, just use your judgment, get down there and look at the detail. Um, again, there's really not a whole lot to, to see here other than a nice smooth surface with uh, no nicks and crannies. <laughs> 